The main reason you clicked on this video is for you to break into Back Patal. So let's get to it. There's four ways for you to break into Back Patal that I know of right now. The hardest way is this path right here. You come straight outside this bridge. You come along this path. You travel along the river. You walk your way all the way back. You head past all of these Saurians. You break into this cave and then you make your way down the treacherous path. There is so much nonsense and things trying to kill you on this path. It's not even funny. You got chimeras. You got a double. You have a double chimera minotaur fight alongside of an ogre. There's a pretty cool NPC chilling up here if you need it. But ultimately, you won't be caring about that at all because you're just going to try to get out of this area alive. Once you completely clear that area, there's also a dragon waiting for you right down the bottom of the waterfall. So just be prepared to get smoked by everybody. I mean, everybody wants to smoke. Just be ready for that. Moving right along, let's talk about the other three ways of getting into Back Batal. There is a carriage that crosses over the bridge and goes through the border. Now, I could not get this carriage to spawn for me for the longest time. However, after playing the game for a while and traveling back to Vernsworth, there was actually a guy that met up with me in the middle of the town square area. So right here in the merchant quarter, there was a soldier that walked up to me and asked me, hey, we need your help for you to escort an ox cart. From that point, the ox cart in question that you're actually gonna wanna hop into to cross the border instantly appeared for me. So if you're having a hard time trying to get that ox cart, this is gonna be the fastest and easiest way for you to guarantee that ox cart does appear in the city. Sitting at the bench and or sleeping in the inn and turning the game off and on also helps the process. But as soon as you see that ox cart, hop on it, get through the border and stay on it until it gets to a safe zone where there's no more guards and then hop out and run. Boom, you're in. If you're on consoles, you're also going to get two trophies for this. So congratulations. But that being said, you have this route right here, the treacherous path. You have the main route, which is the ox cart. And then you can just progress the main story. Progressing the main story will give you a permission slip to get through the border once you get that far in the game. So that's actually the easiest way. If you're just progressing the main story, then you probably didn't even need this video. But if you're not progressing the main story and you wanted to, for example, get your warfare vocation first before you even wanted to try and unlock all the different skills and other things in the game and even bother with the main story quest, then this video is just for you. Let's talk about one more way of getting in back Batal. You have the treacherous path, you have the ox cart, you have the main story quest, and then the final way of you getting in the back Batal is this route right here. You're gonna wanna go along this path, cross the bridge, go around this mountain range area, and you're gonna wanna go all the way up past the campsite and go down to this the Greco Cavern. Before you get to the Greco Cavern, right here at number four, this is a dragon, so get ready. This thing will smack you up if you're not prepared for it, so you were warned. With that being said, once you get through the Greco Cavern, there's gonna be a couple of enemies in here that are pretty nasty, not too hard for you to beat. You could just run right past them and not even deal with them. It's completely up to you. But pop out the other end of the Greco Cavern, and make your way into the back door of Back Batal. If you like what we do here in the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, guides, and a whole lot more coming for Dragon's Dogma 2. In my future videos, I'm gonna be talking about a reason why you should actually buy a house in the game. But I'll see you guys in the next one. This is your boy M of Emerson Sage D. For now, I'm out of here.